So I am considered AM, so it's a young elected member. I am the Natapuwayo Matangi Māori Ward for Manawatu District Council. That is my Konihira. My constituent is of 6,000 Māori um, in the district. Well, the role is um, fulfilling and colourful and exciting. For those that don't know, in Manawatu District Council, I am the only Māori that sits at the table. So we have one seat, uh, which makes things extremely um, delicious. I guess what it looks like, like people always think, what, what does a life of a councillor look like? Mm -hmm. Essentially, um, what we do is we're in a local government space that um, try and make decisions that benefit our communities. And for us in our district, we have the field and town centre, mm -hmm. but we also have a rural community. So we have like this balance, this really intricate balance of an urban and rural um, communities and trying to meet the priorities and the needs of our communities is really important. So every Thursday is our council day um, and then throughout the week we have events and meetings that we're expected to participate in. I think if we look at the whakapapa of Māori wards, um, it, like, you know when we look at the first establishment of a Māori ward that was extremely powerful which is Taranaki. Um, and I'm always grateful because I recognise that I'm a beneficiary of Taranaki's tono mm -hmm. and hikoi um, and championship and, um, <clears throat> and that enabled Manawatu to also hikoi for a ward and I think the importance of why we did that was to make sure that we no longer accepted other people making decisions for us as Māori, for us as iwi, um, for our hapuri um, we wanted to make sure that we also um, were present at the table um, and just making sure that there's some level of equity and accountability that you know over the decisions that impact us.